Hey everybody, this is Jamie Buterf. I wanted to give you guys a more detailed explanation of the first phase conjugate of Pythagoras tuning and what a, how a phase conjugate looks and how it works. So on the left here, you'll see that um, we're going to start with the first three ratios. Remember, uh, we have we start with the unison, and then we, we double, right? We get the first, uh, the perfect fifth, which is the three to two ratio, which I got here. All right, then remember it goes two and two is four, and then four and four is eight. All right, so this is the doubling that goes back and forth across uh, the center line. So we have a three to two ratio here, a four to three ratio, and of course we got the nine to eight ratio here. All right, and then we come to the first phase conjugate. Now, let me explain this a little bit better to you guys. Okay, so this is the first doubling. So what I've, what I've done is I've drawn uh, three dots, all right, one, two, and three. And when you draw three dots, you, you get, it gives you two lobes, okay? So there's the three to two. We go to the next, uh, the second doubling, the four to three ratio. Draw, I drew four dots, and that gives us three lobes, okay? We go on to the, the third doubling. All right, we get 9 to 8 ratio, so I drew 9 dots, and that gives us 8 lobes. That's pretty simple. All right, but here's where it gets interesting, because this is where we arrive to the first phase conjugates. Now, we can see that the 9 is mirrored here, okay? So when, we, when we, we're doing a phase conjugate, what we have to do is reverse the dots, okay? So we've had 3 dots, 4 dots, 9 dots. Here, we're going to do 9 dots. We're, gonna, we're going to invert, all right, the number of dots. So we put 9 dots here. And when we do that, something interesting happens because we, in order for this um, uh, this ratio to resolve itself, we have to have 16 lobes. Well, here's here's something interesting. So if you count here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight lobes on one side, and then it reverses itself. This is the conjugate. We get eight lobes coming back down. All right. So for we have a total of 16. Okay, so this does resolve itself, but no, interesting is that we've got eight lobes on one side and eight lobes on the other. It's like the, not, the eight over here mirrors itself around the nine dots. All right, this is the first phase conjugate where it, it, it mirrors and comes right back down to resolve itself. Then when we get to the, the, um, the second part of the mirroring, where we've got 16 and 16, so that, that, that doesn't double here. It just mirrors itself. Now, this is interesting because I, uh, this part here I drew in AutoCAD so I can get it perfect. And you, you can see where I, um, we have 27, and we go back, instead of 9, we go back to 27 dots. But what we're doing here is we're, we're drawing the lobe every third, all right? So we got 1, 2, 3. So the lobes are every third, and then the recursive uh, refraction part is, is started every 2, okay? So what this does here is that the, the first three doublings, okay? This represents our three-dimensional reality right here, okay? When we come to the first phase conjugate, what we're doing is we're looking at a phase shift, a dimensional shift into a higher dimension, which is what m music does. I think music depicts the, the, all the dimensions that exist in their universe. But when you do it like this, right? You draw the lobe every third, and then you start the, the grouping every half. So if you, if you were to take this and fold it back on itself, okay, it would line up just like the rest of these do. But we're starting it every, every half. So we, we can see the 3 to 2 ratio here mirrored, but it's on a different dimension, right? And this is where we come to the final part of the, of the, uh, the other half, I guess you could call it, of the, of the phase conjugate. What really what it, a phase conjugate does is it brings us into a higher um, dimension, a higher level of dimension, dimensional awareness. Okay, so um, I just wanted to explain this real quick. I uh, hope everybody understands that, and uh, I'm going to put this, I'll post this uh, to my Facebook page. You guys can download it if you want. Okay, all right, thanks for watching.